Hello Taurus. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitsche here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So I will be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person you're dealing with on a romantic level. What it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. I'm using the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. And this reading is meant from the first half of March, so early March to mid-March, and that's 2021. And this reading may not resonate with everyone. Some of you may have gone through some of this already. Some of you may be going through this right now, and the rest of you, you might experience this in the far future. emotions here this other person feels for you. pleasure. Hmm. Some of you may find this to be a very sexual relationship, but also a lot of spiritual feelings here. There's something about this person that you connect with, and it does feel spiritual and sensual at the same time. you can see the cards. I think you can. Okay. So we have here grief, mystery, embracing the shadow, hearth and home, synthesis, power, pleasure, cycles. Under the bottom of the deck we have wisdom. I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you currently. My dear Taurus, I have come to the realization that there's something more to this connection than what I thought was before. I am very regretful. There is remorse, regret, sorrow, and sadness that I feel for all of the actions, the words that I have spoken, and the things that I should have done, but I didn't. I'm grieving. I've lost someone so precious in my life who I hold so dear, close to my heart. What I feel with you and I recognize this now. I didn't recognize this before, but I see this now that you really are someone who is a spiritual connection. There are things between you and I, and I feel we are spiritually bound. Somehow I feel what you feel. I hurt when you're hurting. The feeling is so intense. It's as if I already know you. Somehow it feels as though I know you. I've been with you before and I feel extremely comfortable being in your company. I understand that what I've done has made us both very uncomfortable 
and I have made the situation very awkward. I do understand that, and I admit that should not have happened. There is a sense of frustration. I try to quickly do things in this connection. I was impulsive, aggressive, impulsive. There are things about me that are very dark that you do not know. Certain things about me that I think you may judge me in a very different way after you know more about me. I am who I am and I can't change my ways for anyone. I know what I did was wrong and I am regretful and guilty because now I find that you are that one person that I can call home. There's so much about you where I feel very close I feel I can confide in you anything and not fear being judged. I feel as though you're like family. And there is a lack that I feel of peace and harmony that exists in this connection. I wish and I want to restore this peace and harmony. There are certain things that were not spoken and they should have been spoken. Certain things I have avoided that perhaps I should not have. I do feel that being in this connection there is so much power so much power you have over me. You have no idea how weak in the knees you make me feel, how emotionally vulnerable you make my heart. You are that one person that can tempt me, and I can't resist. You are very seductive, even when you don't even try. And the connection that I've had with you, I miss and I want to experience once again that pleasure as friends and as something more, the intimacy you and I have had. This pleasure is something that was out of this world. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop thinking about you. It keeps going around in my mind in a circle over and over again. I keep thinking about the last time you and I were together in that way. And overall, I am now different. Things have changed. I'm not like what I used to be. There now is wisdom. I'm wiser, I'm more experienced, I've learned from my mistakes. And so, all I know is that if you and I were to come together, I'm definitely not the same person that I was before. Taurus. So, yes, this person has realized that you are some type of, <coughs> sorry, past life connection. We have here for me, this is my past life card, and this person definitely was going through a few things with you, and now it's come to the point where they realized 
that this is more than just a physical, pleasurable aspect. There's something more deeper here. This has a spiritual connection. That's what this individual is feeling. I'm going to come back to that card in a bit. So, let's have a look at something that's blocking this individual. Something that is of a problem in this connection. I have here the Lover's Path Tarot. We have the King of Coins. Oh, and Sacrifice. All right. So with the King of Coins, we have here this person that you're dealing with, Taurus, needs to be more realistic. They were not realistic. They were living very much in a fantasy land, an illusion. They were not taking things 100% seriously. You seem to have found yourself to be involved with an individual who may have promised more than they can deliver. There is a lack of emotional growth from the person that you have been dealing with and that has caused an issue. This person is not as mature in terms of love and relationships the way you are. However, you remember right in the beginning you did have the wisdom card here. So here it talks about a lack of that. However, currently this person is starting to see things from a different perspective. So they are getting wiser. So things are changing. Now we have here the card Sacrifice. sacrifice card here talks about feeling unable to make the sacrifice that a situation requires. This person is creating difficulties for themselves because they are caught between worlds, caught between certain circumstances, people, issues that they're feeling. There needs to be a short-term sacrifice in order to reach a long-awaited goal. What they're doing is taking care of others' needs, even if they are not in their own personal interest. What they're doing is also gaining compassion from difficult experiences. This person was not wise, but they have been through some recent hardships where they might be taking care of people providing love, compassion, care, and they will realize how important these things are. And when they see how important these things are, they will also see that when these type of traits or characteristics are brought into a long-term committed relationship, a romantic relationship, compassion is very important. Empathy is very important. Love, respect, kindness. There are certain things that this person is experiencing right now, not with you but in a different situation. And they are literally becoming wiser as they are experiencing certain feelings. Overall, I see this person was kind of, and I literally say kind of, I'm not sure if they're very, um, you guys can elaborate more on that, but does seem to be immature. Immature in the sense that they are simply inexperienced. They just don't have um, the type of experience somebody would have in a long-term committed relationship. I have here the Beginner's Tarot deck. Okay, so there's a blindfold on. We have the Two of Swords. Ears are closed, eyes are closed, heart is closed, and not wanting to let anyone in. 
not wanting to deal with the situation. This individual right now is just not wanting to deal with the situation. You have here the temperance card. So the temperance card does talk about creating a better balance in the connection. The connection that <laughs> was out of balance, now this individual feels a spiritual connection like we said before. We have the mystery card. And the spiritual connection here is prompting them to actually create a better balance. But they can only do this once they become a bit more wise. They just don't know what they're doing. They're not, they're not like you. That's the difference here. And we have here the Ten of Pentacles. So very interesting. This person does want a long-term committed relationship with you. They also feel that being with you is financially very beneficial, either to you or them. Both of you are like a power couple. So whatever you want in terms of, you know, materialistic gain, um, anything related to making your life comfortable, this person feels that if you're both together, that can easily be had. Wow, you have literally, you have two major arcanas here. Big changes are coming. The world card. This individual really does feel very um, isolated right now. They miss you. They want to be with you. They want to be emotionally close to you. And physically, they want to be close to you. Now, five of wands is under the bottom of the deck. And when you have five of wands, this does talk about arguments, a lack of meeting in the middle, um, not understanding the other person's perspective. Here we have an issue where there's arguments and fights behind the scenes. This person, Taurus, even though they have good intentions towards you, they're being influenced by others because they are inexperienced. They are going around asking others for their advice. The bad thing is, certain people are not giving them good advice. Some of them are giving it because they just don't know what's right. And some of them are purposely giving wrong advice because they're jealous. So beware, guys. Beware that this person might not be thinking on their own. Because they don't have that much experience, what are you supposed to do? You ask for advice from other people. But that now is a problem. The advice that's being given and asked, it's not in the best interest of this person. And it's causing an issue with you guys. Even though this person wants a balance, they want something solid, settled. They want to come close to you. Even though there's these nice, sweet, solid feelings, there are other people in the mix here. So just beware of that, Taurus. I don't see this person taking any actions first. I do see them taking actions based on what the other people are advising them. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> Here we have Archangel Answer Cards by Doreen Virtue. We have Get More Information. Let's do a quick prayer. Okay, peaceful resolution. It's not bad. So Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel are bringing you these messages. And they are from the Abrahamic religion. And they work for Jesus. They work for Jehovah. 
they're sending you these messages telling you that you need to get more information about this person, about the situation that they're in, the type of people that they're dealing with, if you can, if it's possible. If it's not, then right now is just not the right time. Don't even deal with it. There is going to be a peaceful resolution. So if you guys have had, you know, the Five of Wands, if you've had issues, if you've had um, arguments, there is going to be a peaceful resolution coming in the future. But keep in mind that is in the future. It's not the right time. Right now is not the right time to be engaging with this person, talking to this person. When you do get the chance to be with this person, do communicate clearly. It is very important that you are very direct, to the point, there's no sarcasm. Just be as sweet and as nice as you can be. Okay. Guys, what I'm seeing here is not something that many of you want to hear. I'm not seeing very much of progress. I don't see a lot of progress. I see a situation that's not exactly ending. However, it's not going to turn out the way that you thought it would. There may be um, a little bit of a need to let go of this person. So here, Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel are saying, get more information about the person, about the situation. There will be a peaceful resolution in the future, but right now is not the right time to do anything with this person. Don't even deal with them. When you do get the chance, do communicate clearly. Let them know how you feel. If you believe, then you will be able to manifest this. And do trust in God. Here we have yourself as an image. Behind you is Jesus. Behind Jesus is the Holy Light of God. That is the Father, Jehovah. You can pray to Jesus, and through Jesus you can get to Jehovah. And you can ask them, to send Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel to guide you and protect you throughout this entire situation. They're advising you to let go of this individual. Let go of your energy, let go, because that's when they're going to feel that pressure that they won't be able to understand. Because this is a spiritually guided connection, they will feel that energy being pulled away from them. Under the bottom of the deck, Ask for help from others. So when you pull this energy away, they will feel it and they will miss it. And for the majority of you, this person will come back because they want you. They can't, they can't live without you because you are literally cut from the same cloth. This is either a twin flame connection, karmic partner, or soulmate connection. There's something different about this connection and it really hurts. It's painful. That's why it's so damn complicated. Um, too much is going on here. You are more intuitive. You are more spiritual. This person is not. Not yet. But they're starting to get there slowly. Here we have under the bottom of the deck, ask for help from others. So definitely contact others, your friends, a family member, somebody you can talk to. And just bounce some ideas off of the other person. You know, tell them about your situation. Even if you want to go to a chat room online, start an anonymous account if you don't want people to know who you are. But just get some, you know, ideas, um, different concepts and perspectives of such a situation, the kind of situation that you're in. So I do see that it is going to move forward, but for now, there is a lot of hold. This person needs to grow first. And... It's, it's going to take a while. This is a journey. You guys are on a journey here. This is a very different reading. It's not a, a, a reading that has a, a final answer type of thing. It doesn't have that. I can see this is a to-be-continued type of episode. Let's just call it that. Um, I just quickly wanted to go back to this card. Here we have a beautiful card that's Mystery. This is the goddess note. And what I wanted to tell you guys is that this connection, Taurus, for those of you that feel that you can feel their energy, you can't let go. You're finding it difficult to let go. The angels are telling you to let go. But if you literally try and you are obsessed and you can't let go, you can feel their energy. Sometimes you can smell their perfume or their cologne, even if they're not there. 
the freakiest stuff happens. You can reach out to me because I know that this is a spiritually guided connection. This person's either a soulmate, karmic partner, or twin flame. There is something special about this individual. However, if you know that this is, and this this just was, you know, a hookup, and, you know, you're just wanting to know about the person, then no, that's not the type of connection I'm talking about here. This is for those individuals who actually are feeling affected, like psychologically, emotionally, spiritually, everything is being affected here because of this person. Your entire life has changed. Do reach out to me. Let me help you. I can do a past life reading for you and I'll look into when and where you both were together back in the past and what happened in that lifetime that has created this event in this lifetime why did you come together in this lifetime clearly there's some either lack of closure there's a lesson that needs to be learned there's a karmic cycle that needs to be adjusted or broken something has to happen because it's not by chance now nothing is ever if it's one thing i've learned through my years there's never coincidence these coincidences are actually already timelines that we just either pick and choose but they already exist so either you stay with this person or you don't. And if you don't, you will find someone else. And the majority of the time you'll find that person is also from a past life. It's the strangest thing, but it's something I've seen over the time that I, you know, do this kind of stuff. So I just want to share that with you guys in case you feel that, you know, you kind of want that closure. You want a bit of more explanation why you feel this way. Reach out to me regarding a past life reading and I will help you with that. All right, Taurus. Thank you so much for tuning in once again, and I will see you guys in mid-March. You take care and stay safe. Bye now.